This is Scott with CircWorks Art Labs welcoming you once again to join me inside the underground lair far beneath the center of the earth where we create robots, alien zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. And on some days, we create artwork for the game Misgrits. And today is one of those days, so what are we going to do? We are going to work on our last... Finally, we're here. Well, what I... I say that and it almost sounds like this is this is we're going to complete this thing, but we are in the beginning stages of our fourth miscrit. We are going to sketch it out today, so we are in the home stretch, kids, and that means we got to get out our paper, our pencil. This one's pretty basic, you know. Other the other stages, we go into the computer and we do stuff like that, but uh, really today is just a drawing day, and that's what we're going to do. So we are going to draw our miscrit. So this should be fun, but yeah, this is. This is it. This is the last uh, last stage because each, uh, if you've been following or if you're a fan, which I'm sure most of you are, but if you're just a, a casual person who's checking it out because you like the other stuff I do and are like wondering, hmm, what are, what's this Miscrit thing all about? Well, Miscrit is a, it started off as a Facebook game, but now I think it's on mobile and everything. Um, but it's a social game. It's a creature battle game. You collect different creatures. You pit them against each other in an ultimate battle, and uh, and you try to win the game. And it's uh, it's been going on for a while. And I used to I used to do this for a living uh, full time. I used to work at Broken Bulb Studios, and now I am just kind of. Uh, talking with them about hopefully getting this in the game even though I'm technically not not on staff there anymore but I'm still on good terms with everyone over there so we're hoping that once we finish this this creature design uh, we'll be able to get that in the game and you'll be able to play that so that is cool but on other Miskrit news before we start sketching um, another Miskrit artist uh, who used to work on the game and a good friend of mine Chris Mendoza who probably does I mean he does most of the Miskrits chances are if there's a Miskrit and it's your favorite probably he drew it because he was he was on the game far longer than me. Uh, I started on the game when it was when we first booted it up and then I moved on to another game and everything and I don't know, I probably told this story any, uh, before anyway, but most, the majority of the miscrits in the games uh, Chris designed and I noticed uh, recently that he, on his, uh, his website, he posted or he put up a slideshow of all the miscrits he created and there's like over 500. That'll show you how many uh, there are that he, he created. And I, I have never sat down and count how many I actually created, but it's nowhere near that. So, uh, like I said, most of those um, Chris created. And I thought that was really cool that now if you want to go and you can see all the miscrits he created in like a slideshow and you can flip through it. It's got, you know, it's got like an arrow button where you can click and go faster or whatever. Or you can just let it play. But really cool stuff. So if you go to, I think it's his website is Chris Mendoza Art. Um, check that out. Uh, very cool stuff. But you know, like I said, I got my I got my non-photo blue pencil, and that's always what I use to sketch. You can sketch however or with whatever you want. Um, this is just my uh, tool of choice. But yeah, let's sit down and we'll start sketching up what will be the final evolution of our miscrits. Our miscrit that we are going to try to get in the game, and also, oh, forgot to tell you, it's also a kind of a cross promotion with Miscromania. That is a miscrit fan site. It's an unofficial fan site, but it's probably like the, you know, as far as information and and you know videos on the game, it's probably the big one. So you guys might want to check that out as well. But anyway, uh, besides that, yeah, let's get on to uh, doing some drawing. So let's check it out. Okay, so here we go with our miscrit already in progress. I uh, I started I started drawing this and I thought I was recording the beginning of this sketch, but part of it cut off. So uh, kind of got a little bit of my gestures filled in a little bit uh, already, but uh, I think you guys can kind of get the gist of it. As you can kind of see, we've sort of I always start off really light and then I start to add uh, I kind of put more pressure on as we go because uh, I'm still trying to figure out exactly you know where I'm headed with this creature so it's easier for me to just draw it in real light in you know in this kind of blue pencil and then 
then as things start to take shape and I find the lines I like and things like that, then I start going over it and gradually keep doing that, keep building. And uh, that's just how I work. I mean, a lot of, I, I would assume a lot of other people kind of work the same way, but um, you know, whatever the drawing stage, you know, it's as long as you're kind of true to the essence of a misgrit. And, and we talked a little bit about this in the very first episode. If you haven't seen that, you can kind of, you can probably go back and, and you know, we talked about there's certain characteristics we try to we try to keep with most of the misgrits, um, certain eyes and and just the way they evolve and get bigger and and everything like that. And also, uh, there's a if you guys that play the game, I'm sure you know that there is a base uh, that each misgrit kind of stands on, assuming they have feet or whatever. Some some misgrits float and things like that, so that's not as necessary for them. But you have to make sure that everything kind of their feet and everything will fit on that platform that they're not too spread out too far or anything or you know just a little fit so there's certain things like that we got to pay attention to um and uh that's something that uh, i double checked on this one because I, I actually i think when i first started drawing it i think that that back leg was a little too far back and wasn't really fitting on that platform um but then i brought it up on the template that i have uh, i've got like a digital like a photoshop template um and then I kind of adjusted that a little bit. So, so yeah, uh, this is it. I mean, this is uh, this is the final evolution. So I hope you guys are are liking it. Um, I wanted to really have his mouth open wide and a real big snarl, like a growl. Uh, actually, more of a growl than a snarl, I guess. I think I think in the last evolution he was kind of maybe snarling a little bit, but now just a, a like a full growl. He's ready to attack. His teeth are bared, no pun intended, <laughs> and. Uh, and the one thing that I, I'm trying to add a little more kind of the lightning uh, kind of coming off his fur, as you can see on the top of his head, um, instead of just kind of the shaggy fur kind of having it turn into kind of that lightning bolt. Because he is a, he is a uh, lightning element miscrit. And uh, yeah, I got some comments. I got a lot of comments on the... Uh, on the in the comment section of the YouTube and I appreciate everyone there are a lot of holiday wishes and things like that because we're just coming off the uh, off Christmas if you celebrate Christmas and uh, the New Year's and everything so um, got a lot of New Year's wishes and things like that so thank you to everyone that was really nice of you guys um, there was a I think a comment uh, because I guess they're, I saw that they're doing some more like dual elements and everything. I've got to check out the official um, Broken Bulb Studios fan or, you know, YouTube page. And if you haven't seen that, you should check it out because I, I think, I don't know how often they're posting videos, but they've got, I, I think they're posting them fairly often. Um, and I think they talked about releasing some new dual element miscrits and things like that. This one isn't, as far as I know, I mean, they could, I mean, they could change things, but I think there was like a, I think a suggestion of a water lightning. I don't know how that would work because those two seem to be kind of counteract each other. Maybe they do. I mean, uh, I'm not really, <laughs> I'm not really that big of a player. So maybe that is a thing. Um, and if it is, you know, maybe that's something that they'll decide to do. Um, but the thing behind this was kind of the lightning, and then we got that awesome suggestion to kind of have it. Uh, go more towards the like the constellation like the ursa major ursa minor um i forgot who threw out that suggestion but that was really great so we kind of incorporated that so now he's starting to we just with the energy um and light coming from you know stars or suns and suns emanate energy and he's a lightning misgrit and all that it just seemed to fit in really well and also the idea that he is a he's a performer um, so the idea is that when he, you know, when he does his attacks, he does it with finesse and everything, and it's a big performance with him. Um, and that's why he's got the theatrical masks, which now we've moved. I don't know if you can see it's, it's really light right now, but I'll fill it in a little more, but you can see how they're kind of like, almost like on, on knee pads. And now he's got, um, he's got some, he'll have some armor sort of on his shoulders, um, that are kind of, I imagine that those were generated by the lightning. I'll probably fill them in like that, that orangish yellow color, kind of like all the other lightning. But now is what you can see right now, um, around his gauntlets, you can kind of see where those kind of, he's got those little holes right there where the lights were before. And now they've completely popped out, like shot out. And now they're kind of floating around. 
So, I mean, you can kind of take that to wherever you want as far as your imagination. And if they, you know, once, it, assuming that we get this thing in the game, and I hope hope we do, um, you know, the people over at Broken Bulb can, they'll probably decide whatever tax to give them and everything, and maybe, maybe that'll come into play on that. But right now, I just kind of wanted to show that those kind of what look like energy bulbs maybe they're you know they could be like a plasma or something like a plasma bulb or something that emanate energy it could be it could be really anything um but i just thought it'd be cool if now that those are those are swinging around and he could almost like throw them as an attack or maybe you know they 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 explode in rays of light or whatever i mean you can get you know pretty creative with that but um I just thought it was kind of a cool effect and, and to actually have now the lightning bolts coming around and them kind of looping, just kind of orbiting, I guess, around his hand so he can kind of swing those around. I thought that was a pretty cool effect. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I'm, I'm super excited that now we're finally, we're getting there. We're almost, we're almost, uh, you know, going to finalize this guy. And I know I did. I got a lot of new subscribers recently. So thank you all for, for ch checking out the videos and for subscribing. And if you haven't already subscribed, uh, please do so because we've got, we've got a, we're going to finish this guy up and he's going to be really cool. And I want you guys to be able to, to know about that when those videos go up and everything. Um, but since we do have new subscribers, uh, I should probably throw out a few of the, I get to some of the same questions all the time. Um, is this this miscrit going to be in the game? When is it going to be in the game? Uh, so right now, there's no guarantee that it's going to be in the game, but I think we have a really good chance. Um, uh, my situation, I used to work on the game. I used to, uh, you know, do creatures for miscrits. Um, I'm not doing that so much anymore, but I've talked to the people over at Broken Bulb, and they've asked, you know, if I could do some miscrits and things like that. So, um, uh, I, and they know what I'm doing here, so they're well aware of it and everything, and I'm sure they would love to have a new miscreant in the game so I can't see too many reasons why they wouldn't put this in the game um, they, they could want to make some changes or whatever or you know we'll have to wait and see but uh, I think it's it's pretty likely that it will go in the game but it's not guaranteed um, as far as when it will go in the game uh, we still got two more videos we're putting them out uh, every week so it's still gonna be another two weeks after this before we get it done and then I don't know what the process is uh, of them approving it and getting in the game and all that kind of stuff. So I don't really know exactly when, but uh, keep your fingers crossed, people. We're hoping to get this in the game. So anyway, we're finalizing this right now. We'll be back next week where we start doing our outline and everything. Thanks for liking. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Please share, please comment, and all that cool stuff. And thanks again for watching, and we'll be back next week. And that is all. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,